Oh, there he goes. Hey, Bigfoot Tone here. So this one's been requested many times. It's a video from uh, NVTV. And uh, I have to say I'm quite impressed with the the person filming, uh, his reaction, natural sort of reaction, something that uh, I think maybe I might react in, the, in a similar way. He's sort of hanging back, not getting too close, um, until the moment when the, uh, the, the subject goes out of view and he kind of panics and rushes uh, around trying to get trying to get it back in shot again. You can really see feel the the shock in his voice if it is indeed um, genuine, because let's face it, you you just never know these days. And this footage is not clear enough to say whether it's uh, um, real uh, or not. I'll show this first um, stabilization here, the first part. Note the the level that the the subject is walking is quite is quite level with the the background. You can you can sort of use this as a as a reference. This line here um, in the foliage in the background as a reference to the how how level the creature the subject is walking. Did you hear that noise in the background? Kind of a uh, kind of a whooping sound or cuckoo sound, perhaps. I don't know. It's interesting, but I think it. it I have heard similar sounds of um, what could be a um, a juvenile or baby uh, Sasquatch. I have um, enhanced that audio, this particular audio. Once again, I'll show you here. and the enhancement anyway I just thought it was interesting you know, if, if anyone knows uh, of any animal that you think that might be um, just let me know in the comments and here is another uh, enhancement of uh, late, later on um, well here the, the, the subject goes behind the bush and then the uh, the camera moves to the left to get a better shot. So I'll play that now. It, this is a uh, zoomed in more as well. Uh, one thing that that um, sort of stands out for me, whether it's a good point or not, I don't know, is the um, the speed in, in which the subject is moving very slowly. It could be an old Sasquatch, that's possible. Um, one thing we don't see here is the the subject uh, looking in the, in the direction of the of the camera person, uh, or it could be, but it's just not clear uh, anyway if it is or not. What I, I always say, I've always said in the past where we see the situation where the Sasquatch, potential Sasquatch is in the open, I like to think that um, the reason we we do sometimes get to film them in this situation is that they are they are using a, a distraction uh, technique where where there could be possible young ones in, in the area so they they distract um, the attention of the of the human. Um, w away from uh, a potential young, so this is um, this could be uh, happening in this situation. But in most cases, when I've seen this, for example, the Freeman footage, um, Patterson footage, and also the um, in the Independence Day footage, the Sasquatch looks 
towards the uh, the camera person whilst they're doing that. Uh, you know, as uh, to, or as if to make sure that the that the person is has their eye on them, so that they know the uh, the distraction is working. But whereas this case, we don't see this uh, this subject looking in the direction. It could be that the the face is so dark that we're just not seeing it. Um, another interesting thing I've noticed here, um, noted here, it could be that it's distortion, but there is something moving up on the top of the head, just there, if you can see that. could be a young one or it could be distortion. It could be where the the leaves are coming in here and somehow it's blending and merging with this black and it's somehow pulling it up. It does happen. I'm just trying to see if you can see an example anywhere in this footage. Not really here, but you may know what I mean. But it it's difficult to say whether that is an object, uh, a separate you know individual on top of the adult, sort of moving up, or if it's uh, just distortion. Um, yeah, like I say, uh, it could be an old, an old Sasquatch. That's why it's moving so slowly. Really difficult to say. What else do we have here? And then after this, the um, the the subject moves behind the tree, uh, bushes here. There's not really much to see there. Moves out the view. And then we hear something, another uh, sound, interesting sound. Here, almost like a, a bark or a grunt. Just there. Oh. Could be something else. And shortly after, like a, a kind of a, a, almost sounds like a distant howl. Just there. I'm wondering if it could be his breathing, the person's breathing. I think it's, I don't think so, I think it's separate, and I think it's either belonging to this uh, subject or coming from somewhere else. It's difficult to say, isn't it? Uh, that reminds me, uh, coming back to this one, there's um, the uh, the breaking sound just here. Now, I don't know if that's coming from the person filming. Um, it does sound distant to me, so it could be coming from here. So that could mean that it's, um, you know, it, it could point towards a person in a suit, not looking, not being able to see where it's going. And, uh, you know, we don't generally think of uh, uh, Sasquatch being so clumsy as to make this kind of sound unless it, it was um, deliberate in which case you know again to uh, draw attention or communicate with another Sasquatch we don't see any obvious hand movement where it could um, for example hit the tree with uh, a stick or it could be that it's using the right hand and we just can't see it And I don't think it's this. I think this is just um, um, some ferns, uh, but it's just brushing past. Um, we have a potentially a kind of a conical head there. Um, the chin does seem low down. No uh, extraordinary arm length. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching, let me know what you think.